In this last lesson in financial maths, we're going to look at how timelines will help us if there's a change in interest in the bank account. So often if you leave um, your money in a bank account for a significant period of time, after a certain number of years, they say, you know what, you're such a good customer, we're going to increase your interest. Okay, so um, they want to pay you more because you're leaving your money in there longer, and so they give you additional interest. So let's just see how this calculation will work. Again, we want to represent it on a timeline so we can see exactly how long um, there is between changes. So the investment is for six years. All right, so our timeline will run for six years. Um, 5,000 Rand is going in right in the beginning after no time has passed. Okay, and then the interest rate calculated is 6.5% per annum. Um, compound annually for the first two years. So remember, if we're going to substitute that into our formula, we're going to divide it by 100. So it's 0, 0.065, and it's like that for the first two years. Then it's going to change. It's going to increase to 7.2% because we are a very good client, and they want to reward us. Um, and if we substitute it into the formula, we're going to divide 7.2 by 100 and get 0, 0.072. And we want to know how much the investment will be worth after six years. Okay, so it's compound interest. So we look in our compound interest formula. So let's see what's happening at the moment. So we've got 5,000 Rand and it's going to earn interest for zero comma, at 0, 0.065 for two years. Now at this point, if I push equals, I will get an answer. And that is the answer that I will use to carry on with. Okay. In other words, that will be my answer, my p-value, to start my next calculation with. And if we go back and have a look at the formula, what comes after p? An interest bracket. So what I've got there in the yellow circle, if I have to get that answer on my calculator, that is the starting point for my next calculation. So instead of pushing equals, I'm just going to write down the next item in my formula, the next point of my calculation, and that's an interest bracket. But the interest is now changing to 7.2, so 0, 0.072, and it's like that for four years. Okay, um, and the reason we do this as one calculation, if you push equals after the first calculation, you might be tempted to round off to two decimal places at that point. But remember, if we're talking about financial maths, you don't want anybody rounding your money down, necessarily. You want to earn as much money as you deserve. So instead of pushing equals, we just carry on with the next part of the calculation. And so now we can type it in exactly as we see it with a multiplication sign between those two brackets. When you type it into your calculator, you don't actually even need a multiplication. You can just, after the exponent 2, go straight on to the next bracket. And you should end up with 7,489 Rand and 42 cents. Let's try a second example. In this example, Tabo invested 1,200 Rand for nine years. We want to know how much will his investment be worth if interest is 6,9% annually for the first three years, then 7,2% annually for the next four years, and 12% compounded annually for the last two years. So now because we're such good clients, we're there for a full nine years, they're really rewarding us every three years. So let's see what happens. So on my timeline, 1,200 Rand goes in at the beginning. 6,9% will be 0, 0,069 in my formula. And it's like that for the first three years. Then 7,2% will be 0, 0,072. And it's like that for the next four years, so till the end of seven years, because three plus four will give me seven years. And then we're such good customers, or Tabo is such a good customer, uh, Tabo is going to get 12% for the last two years, so 0 0.12. Okay, so we're looking at compound interest, so we're using our compound interest formula, and let's just do this in sections. So the first 1,200 Rand is going to earn 0 0.069 interest for three years. If I push equals, that is now going to be the starting point for my next calculation. So what must come next is the interest bracket. So I'm going to look at the change in interest. 
And now the interest is 1 plus 0, 0, 7, 2, and it's like that for 4 years, so to the power of 4. All right. What comes next is if I had to push equals, that would be the starting point for my last calculation. So what else is in my formula is 1 plus i to the power of n. And now my interest is 1 plus 0 0.12, and it's like that for 2 years. So every time there's a change in interest, just include another interest bracket for the time period that it's like that. We can type that into our calculator, and 1,200 Rand will go grow to 2,428 Rand and 45 cents. So every time there's a change in interest, instead of pushing equals and starting all over again, we just include another interest bracket and another interest bracket. Every time there's a change in interest, just put down the new interest bracket with the new number of years. Thanks for watching MaxMaths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share and subscribe.